Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the webcam. You want to click on here, and then you're going to have the direct webcam capture program running. Go to capture settings. I've got a Logitech. Click start now. Image shows up. Keep alive. Click on save. File save. Turn that switch on. Click set. Overlay. Show label. Show timestamp. Show wind and temperature. Now, if we want to show a custom tag. Set that to one. There's a list of custom tags. So you want to show the rain. Put that in there. Enable. Here it is here. Save. Change it to zero. Click on save. And then we'll just wait for that number to update to an actual reading. Um, but we can also shift where that's going to be. So there it is, zero, it's updated. Let's put that closer to the top, like that. See it's shifting up. And we can then put it along to the right more, like that. It went a bit too far on the top. Okay, and we can actually add here that it's in inches. And we can also change the color, make it red. We can change the size. We can change the font. Okay, save, save, brings everything back. Okay, that's the overlay done. Leave that running. Now the next thing you want to do is make sure this is on. Produce every minute's on. And then go to all day video. Now we're going to select the actual image to be used. This one here. Now it's going to be saved actually in the web files folder initially, even though it says timestamp files here. But putting it in the timestamp files is a good idea. But let's let the image timestamp files build up. Now while we're waiting for a couple of timestamp files build up, I'll show you how to set up to have the webcam image in the icon. So we go here, webcam is icon. We go on animated, select the image. Show on main, pick those two, and then in the next image, or the next minute, this will it'll show up here. And the other thing we want to do is animated webcam here. Tick that on and that on. Okay. There we go. We've got the image there. Now if we now go to the web files, here's our raw image, bam. Here's our timestamp image. This here is part of the animated webcam. Now if we open that now, it's not correct. It's got to let you can let the files build up. So we'll let the files build up, but one more setting I'll show you is if you want to upload the files to your website, make sure the main internet switch is on. Of course, you're going to be putting in your FTP and your user and your password. Now we're going to get a webcam upload. We're going to select the file, this one, add it to the list, update every five minutes, turn the switch on. Click OK. So that's going to upload the file. And there's one more setting here, which is useful. This one here, this will show the image at graph time. So we'll let the images build up. So I'll pause the video and we'll come back in 10 minutes. Okay, I'm back after 10 minutes. And we've now got nine of the timestamps files ready needed for the animated webcam. So if we open that, we've now got an animated webcam. GIF. Okay, now the other thing I want to show you is that if you don't want the timestamps files in the web files folder, we can take them out of there. Because it'll just clog up that folder. And let's put them in the timestamps files folder. And then we just need to select that is the new location. Let's 
find the timestamps files and select any file. Okay, that's now going to be the new location. Now the webcam at mouse cursor position, if I hold the left mouse and then scroll, there you go, it'll show up. Now we haven't got many, we haven't got much data, so it's just starting to show up there. I also wanted to show you in the all day video setup, if we can click create the all day webcam video now, it'll do that automatically every hour, but it starts up Movie Maker down here, click left mouse button to bring it up, it tells you what files it's looking for, and these are the ones that are used, video last day but mp4, and the all day video, so let's bring up the all day video folder, and here we go, here's our mp4 and there's a little video created from those few files so that's all working good this will automatically close but I can close it uh, I think that's everything covered look at that, there's a little animation for the graph mouse position by holding the left mouse button and moving on the graph So that's everything covered with the webcam, all the basic information. Thanks for